Jimmy. So um, the next one we wanted to talk about was uh, that Starfield video. Um, yeah, so basically uh, Bethesda got a, a little video together to kind of give us a little bit more insight on um, what it takes to build a great game or whatever. And uh, I thought that this was going to be something totally different, man. Um, when you say into the Starfield or something like that, like you would think that it would give you like – a lot more information about the game itself. But I felt like all they did was talk about their journey to get to that point in time. I mean, how would you feel, Ray? Yeah. The, so what this did for me is, like, I don't know. I feel like I have honestly forgotten how great, like, the Bethesda um, Fallouts and uh, Skyrim games are. Like, and as I was watching this, this was kind of like um, – this was reminding me of just like how awesome they are and like the truth that they were pointing out about how many people have played and replayed and discovered new things and exp had new experiences over and over again in Skyrim. Mm -hmm. And I was like, gosh, that, that, that is so, so true. Like, I'm so excited to see what these guys, what this game is going to be and the longevity that it has. Um, if they really are trying to put the same amount of heart and soul and effort into this, that they did to Skyrim, and I feel like they are. Like when you hear them talk and what they present, yeah. it feels like this is going to be just absolutely um, incredible world to live and breathe in. And it's like my buddy Jeremy, for instance, he's he might be listening. Well, shout out to Jeremy. He plays like Fallout Four to this very day, over and over again. He replays. Oh Skyrim yeah. A lot. Um, <laughs> like these games are like generational. Like they last for like ten years, and. Um, and it's not just replaying the same thing over again. You re you replay these games and you see something new. Jeremy was just telling me the other night when I went over there to visit uh, for dinner or whatever that he was mm -hmm. playing Fallout. And he says that he still, to this very day, as many times, I told you, he still plays that game since that game came out. Yeah. And he told me to this very day, he still discovers things he had not seen before. Like mm -hmm. every single new playthrough, he still finds something new that he has never seen before. And like looking yeah. at these at these games, it's like it just got me like I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Like, why am I not more hyped for this than I am? Like, I feel like I've forgotten, you know, like what makes, you know, this these Bethesda games what they are. I feel like I've forgotten that magic. And so, like, I don't know, watching this helped kind of bring that magic back to life for me. So where Yeah, I feel like that's all it was. You know, I feel like it was uh less of like a starfield video and here's like mm -hmm. information on starfield but more right. of a like hey remember me like right. you seen what i could do you know You're what right. i mean like That's i still got the juice yeah. mm -hmm. you know so it's yeah it's like a way to to kind of um keep you pumped and anticipating uh mm -hmm. the starfield game you know because they you know they they barely sprinkle any kind of information here and there about it um, I honestly wouldn't mind, you know, not hearing anything about it whatsoever until it's like out, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, it's, it's whatever, um, you know, so, but that's what I feel like this video was. I, I, I felt like them titling that was just to get everybody to look at the shit. But as far as like Starfield things, you could probably clip like 30 seconds of Starfield related content in this right. video together and make it, you know, one. Right. When we would have seen everything. Shout out to Blue. Um, but yeah, so uh, you know, I feel like this wasn't like necessary, but it was like it was cool to do like a little recap on everything they they've done and then hear some of their stuff. But I would have much rather, you know, like an in depth of just even like you know five minutes or something, you know, an in depth of the story, you know, and they talking about when they're creating the story and different things. I don't know. Yeah, they didn't stick too much into Star Villager, right? This was just more about, hey, remember us? We know how to rank good games, and we're, we're reminding you of that. Yeah. Another, another great one's coming. And, and I, I felt like they kind of did that, and, and they, they did remind me. Like, it did work for me in that respect. It got me a little bit more excited, although we're still a long ways away. They have a yeah. lot of months still to keep that hype alive. They got a lot of months. This is what, hype. next year, next year, and what, November or something? June? Next holiday, July? I'm assuming. Next holiday season. Yeah. So this is like, I'm thinking November is what I'm thinking. Yeah. So there's a lot of good games coming out between now and then. 
that they still have to keep us hyped for after we played those, right? Bro, everybody yeah, about to forget about games. any of this shit as soon as Elden Ring comes out, man. And all that shit getting shit on. Yeah, and then they're going to forget about it again when they go play Horizon. And then they're going to forget about it again when they play God of War. And then they're right? going to forget about it again when they finally get a chance to play Deathloop. And that's and another gonna... thing, Soul. You got to play. You got to decide to put down Elden Ring just so that you can play Deathloop, bro. And then they're going to forget about it again when they go to play Hogwarts. Right, like yeah. they're just like they have a lot to <laughs> overcome, man. They have a lot to yeah. overcome next year to keep yeah, the hype alive, man. you know. So I'm pumped for Hogwarts too, man. Yeah, man. They better not fucking fail me, dude. Yeah. They better fucking succeed well. And I don't think Fable's coming out next year, but that would be another one they have to overcome if that was oh, coming out man. next year too. So it's like if they if they do Fable, man, it might be my favorite console of the of the of the year. At like that Fable, point, Fable, Fable and this, imagine that, right? Like Fable, this, you get you get you get Deadloop for free. Like Xbox could be like a really great console next year. Like yeah. it's not so uneven anymore. Like you're gonna be yeah. If those could happy. all drop in the same year, that would make that year like so so much worth it. Yeah, <laughs> like that's right. countless hours of gameplay, right there with with the uh with, with just the two, you know what I mean? Just with Elden Ring totally, and, totally. and the other one, or, or just with Fable and uh, and Starfield. You know what I mean? It's nuts. I got me.